Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. To the gamblers, I do not recommend betting on the Rocky Martinez versus Mikey Garcia fight. I think this fight is very dangerous because of the contrast in styles and the lack of consensus in boxing on how to score a fight. Rocky Martinez is your prototypical high volume, high energy, high effort guy, right? He's constantly on his front foot. He's trying to back you up. He's throwing volume. He gets hit a lot, but after he gets hit, he always fights back, right? He's always the person setting the tempo. He's always the person setting the tempo in the fight. Many judges are swayed by that, even when he's getting hit with crisp counters. Understand that Rocky Martinez has had some controversial fights in his last three fights, right? Understand all three of those fights ended by either split decision, two of the three, or by draw. Now understand the scoring problem. I predicted that Diego Magdaleno would beat Rocky Martinez because I like crisp counters, right? I'm not that impressed by high volume. Well, understand, one judge actually had Diego Magdaleno winning the fight by five rounds. But of course, Rocky Martinez won the split decision and kept his title. The fight before that, he fought Burgos. Now understand, one judge in that fight had Burgos winning by six rounds. Of course, somehow... Rocky Martinez got a draw in that fight, right? One judge had Martinez winning by several rounds. The other judge had it a draw. The fight before that against Miguel Beltran, understand in that fight, one of the judges had Beltran winning the fight by five rounds. Understand Rocky Martinez was awarded the split decision. Now in boxing, you have variants on the judges' scorecards. But with no other fighter is there this level of variance. In other words, in multiple fights, just over the last three fights, you've had a swing on the judges' scorecards of, you know, greater than six rounds. Right? Now that's what you're facing here. Because understand, while Rocky Martinez is high volume and high energy and in your face, Mikey Garcia is a technician, right? He's not there to throw a lot of punches. Rather, he's there to land a lot of punches. Big difference. He's surgical. He's a knockout puncher, right? So he's there trying to set you up with the jab, right? Then he wants to drop heavy punches behind that jab. And understand he does that in every fight, right? He has a knockout ratio of over 80%. He has dented some of the better chins in boxing, including Orlando Salido's chin. I know officially that fight was stopped because Garcia had a broken nose, right? Garcia won the fight when it went to the scorecards. But realistically, Salido was literally alternating between standing upright and being flat on the canvas, right? Garcia was landing heavy bombs. They're targeted, right? Mikey Garcia, simply put, belongs on the list of one of the hardest punchers in the sport, pound for pound. Now, the gamblers are all over Mikey Garcia. They have him as a 10 to 1 favorite, right? 10 to 1. I'm going to be even more reckless than that. I don't recommend this for any gamblers whatsoever. But, you know, my own personal 
play here is Mikey Garcia by KO. There you get one to two, 50% rate of return. I think Rocky Martinez is going to be there to get hit, and I think Mikey Garcia has exactly the punch to do the damage. I'm not too turned off by the fact that Mikey Garcia hasn't fought at this weight before, simply because I know Mikey Garcia has had problems making weight. In fact, he previously missed making weight in an earlier fight, right? So, I believe Mikey Garcia wins this by KO. But understand, I've been burned by Rocky Martinez before. Also understand that Martinez has a punch. He put down Ricky Burns in the first round of their fight. So the hedge I'm recommending, and every time I recommend a hedge, I lose part of the crowd. So be it. Right? There's that group of you out there that believes that making 20% on a fight is not good enough. Right, As if you're making 20% on your stock portfolio on a daily basis. Well, anyway, look. I like Mikey Garcia by KO at 1-2, to two, hedged with Rocky Martinez by KO. But understand the risk. right? And because Martinez is a prohibitive underdog, prohibitive underdog, then you actually are getting great odds, right? But understand the risk involved. If this fight goes the distance, which is what Rocky Martinez's last three fights have gone, you lose it all, right? Understand that risk, right? The only reason I'm recommending this particular play is just to find a way to make a profit off of a fight in which the guy I think is going to win is a 10 to 1 favorite. Right? Let me just say too, for more cautious gamblers looking for a more cautious play, since Rocky Martinez is such a huge underdog, you don't even have to take Martinez by KO as part of the hedge. And understand, Martinez by KO, according to OddsChecker.com, is a 16 to 1 proposition. Right? Understand, just Martinez to win the fight, you're getting huge odds sufficient to offset the one to two that you're getting on Garcia by knockout. Right? So for more cautious betters, let me recommend a more cautious hedge of Mikey Garcia by KO at one to two hedged with Rocky Martinez simply to win the fight. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Understand Rocky Martinez simply to win the fight is a six and a half to one proposition. The difference between the Garcia one to two by KO and the Martinez 13 to two simply to win the fight is where you make your money. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by. If you disagree with me, if you believe that Rocky Martinez is a legitimate super featherweight champion and Garcia is going to have a hard time in this new division, then please do leave your thoughts here online. Leave your thoughts whether you agree or disagree with me, but I'm particularly interested in people who have a foundationally different analysis. I'd like to hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.